Carlo, what an all this, of course, the penultimate game before the big day, and there is a matching sense of occasion here. Uh, just waiting for the last few supporters to come in. So many people wanted to make it here, and there is congestion outside the ground. I'm not surprised to hear that. Well, the first leg was a tale of two contrasting sets of fortunes, and both sides, in their respective manner, would be attempting to convince themselves that it is not quite over yet. Old Trafford rising to the occasion as only Old Trafford can. Some terrific scenes at the Stretford end. Inevitable outcome or a dramatic turnaround? One or the other. More likely, Jim. I just can't see how a team that's produced such a professional performance first time up can suddenly go and throw it all away. If they do manage to do it in style, it would serve as a real statement of intent ahead of the final. Floodlights are shining down on the players here at Old Trafford in Manchester. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position, and joining me will be Lee Dixon. I'm very much looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League. It is Manchester United facing Manchester City. Yeah, thank you, Derek. I'm really looking forward to this. Both teams certainly capable of producing some entertaining football. Hopefully we'll get that. Well, there are many who regard Bruno Fernandes as the complete footballer. Lee, what do you think we'll see from him today? Well, his ability on the ball is second to none. Just watch how close he keeps the ball to his feet. He lures defenders in, then quick turn of pace and he's away from you. Brilliant player. And here's the lineup for Manchester United. David De Gea begins in goal. Harry Maguire plays alongside Victor Lindelof in central defence. Paul Pogba plays alongside Nemanja Matic in the centre of midfield. And beginning the game up front today, Anthony Martial. And here's the Manchester City lineup. Ederson begins in goal. Benjamin Mendy plays with Kyle Walker as fullbacks. And the responsibility of leading the line goes to Gabriel Jesus. So this is it. Touch football's biggest fixture, at least so far as domestic football is concerned. The nation's two glamour sides, Ajax and PSV, so dominant so often, repeatedly fighting it out for glory. However, there is more to this than meets the eye. Ajax, of course, synonymous with total football, considered by many to be the connoisseurs and the artisans. PSV, on the other hand, take pride in their pragmatism and workmanlike approach. All of it adds up to the suspense and the intrigue that we see in front of us now. And we are going to enjoy once more this truly intense rivalry. We are, of course, at the Johan Cruyff Arena, recently renamed in honour of the man most considered the father of total football, the greatest player ever to have worn, the red and white of Ajax. This is a friendly, but a friendly only in name. Well, exhibition match sounds like an easy ozy game of football, Peter, and a picture-perfect occasion until the word pride gets a mention. And it's likely to have quite a big say between teams that could easily be sucked into an excuse for another feud. 
why let an exhibition match get in the way of that? So these two will be going at it very, very strongly. It really is a perfect day for football here in Amsterdam at the Johan Cruyff Arena. I'm Derek Ray here in the commentary position and joining me will be Lee Dixon. And we're focusing on a league that always seems to give plenty of time to youth, the Eredivisie. It's Ajax and they face PSV. Yeah, thanks Derek. I'm just hoping we get a nice quick tempo from the start of this game. Both teams do like to get forward both positive in their approach in the game so we should be in for some entertainment well here's a player who can have a decisive impact on any football match Quincy Promise Lee what do you expect to see from him today well pace just look how fast he runs absolute nightmare for defenders to defend against when the player has that weapon the starting lineup for Ajax. Pretty well balanced this formation, Lee. Yeah, it can be a 4-2-3-1 in the offensive mode, but it can also go back to a 4-5-1 when you're defending. The lone striker will be supported by the three just behind him, especially the number 10 who will be given a free roll. Well, here's how the lineup looks for PSV. It looks pretty orthodox, Lee. Yeah, I love this formation, 4-4-2. The two main strikers will stay close together. The full-backs will link up with the wide players. The two holding midfields will sit in front of the centre-backs. Very solid look about this team. Well, a very good evening to you. It is great to have you along for this much-anticipated game. And, of course, we want to get through it as promptly as possibly we can, because... As you can see for yourself, there have been major weather issues today. The officials have made absolutely sure that it is safe, it's OK to go ahead. Nothing has been left to chance in terms of preparations. Those have been meticulous. And understandably, when you take into account these most testing of conditions, all of the efforts to ensure this game is played under normal conditions have been carried out. And we hope for a proper game which reaches its conclusion. The Emirates Stadium in all its glorious modernity, this symbol of new Arsenal, the Arsenal of the 21st century. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams this is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, under normal circumstances, this is a massive matchup, and I'm not totally in agreement with the view that friendlies tend to take the edge away. In my experience, if the opposition go at it full tilt, then you have to reciprocate. We like to see excitement and be entertained, but if it does go down the serious route, there'll still be lots to enjoy. And a warm welcome. Our venue for this game is the Emirates Stadium Welcome in North Emirates London. Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, ready to bring you commentary. Manchester and joining me is and the former Gunners. Arsenal defender, Arsenal. Lee Dixon. And it's all about action from the Premier League in this case. It's Arsenal up against Manchester United. Yeah, thanks, Derek. All that work in the week, all that chat in the dressing room, all that stops now. It's put your game face on, get down to it. I'm really looking forward to this one. Number 23. Well, it's one thing knowing what Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang is going to do. It's another thing stopping him. Safe to say he's going to be a key figure in this match league. Well, nightmare for defenders. They hate pace, but pace and directness, double trouble. 
He will get the ball and run at you. He commits defenders, drives into space. A real life for goal as well. A brilliant player. And this is the Arsenal starting 11. Bernd Leno gets the nod in goal. Skodran Mustafi plays with David Luiz in central defence. Granite Jacker plays alongside Danny Ceballos in the centre of the park. And getting the vote of confidence in attack today, Alexandre Lacazette. Well, Manchester United have chosen this particular shape. Like if you're really good at something, then why not? They're very good at this. All the team members have bought into this style of play. One player slacks off. Lovely day. Absolutely glorious weather here as we welcome you to a football match of considerable significance. Great consequence in this part of the world. They've been talking about this one for a while and they have rolled up to it in fantastic numbers. You should have seen the roads outside the ground in the hour or two leading up to it. It has been bumper to bumper. The traffic has been extraordinary, but the level of expectation is also very, very high. And uh, these supporters who uh, were queuing around the block for their tickets as soon as we knew the date of the fixture, well, now they can't wait for it to begin. And begin it will any second now. This is the inside of the Veltins Arena, a sea of royal blue, the colours of Schalke. of this formation Jim Beglin well I can tell you Peter that I actually always like playing in this formation because as a wing back you get more freedom to go forward as an orthodox full back you had to be more selective in the runs you made the back three should be able to deal with certainly one opposition striker and, and possibly two and that's why I liked it because I didn't have to get back that much Hello from the industrial west of Germany, we're in the city of Gelsenkirchen. I'm Derek Ray and joining me here on the commentary box is Lee Dixon. And the focus is on the Bundesliga. Live action coming up. It's Schalke up against Bayern Munich. Well, thank you, Derek. All the talking is done. Time now to put the coach's plans into action. Let's hope both teams really have a go at each other from the start of this match. It should be a cracker. And Schalke will line up like this. The vastly experienced Ralf Fehrmann is in goal. Nabil Bentaleb starts with Omar Mascarel in central midfield. And the tactical configuration has two players in attack from the very outset. Well, here is the Bayern side. The highly rated Manuel Neuer between the posts. David Alaba plays with Jerome Boateng in central defence. Serge Gnabry plays with Leroy Zane in the wide positions. And leading the line today, Robert Lewandowski. Well, a very good evening to you on what is pretty close to an ideal evening for football. There is a barely a cloud evident. The world and his wife have gone to great lengths to be here for a match of great consequence and massive interest in these parts. 
Barely a breath of wind, so the football has no excuses for not being at its very best. The teams I know are pumped for this. They are fantastic scenes in the stands. There is uh, a great sense of drama here, a great sense of uh, excitement and expectation. It is a venue, this, which simply adds to the spectacle of the game it stages. One of the most impressive arenas in this part of the world. Two high-profile, high-caliber teams. This is a welcome event for all these supporters. Well, on the face of it, Peter, we would appear to have a high-caliber meeting with very little at stake. But then you consider a, a chance for one or two of the fringe players to get a look in, and this becomes a big incentive. It changes the dynamic. So there's plenty at stake for them, which will do no harm to the energy levels and the overall conviction, and hopefully, the style of contest. And hello to you from the home of football here in London, Thank Wembley Stadium. My name is Derek Ray, and with me in the commentary the position is the former Arsenal fullback Tom Lee Dixon. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It is Tottenham Hotspur taking on Chelsea. Thank you, Derek. Just flicking through my notes at this one, everything pointing to a really lively matchup. This is fingers crossed, eh? Number 15, Eric. Geyer. Number 33, Ben Davis. Number 5, Pierre Emil Heidberg. Number 8, Harry Winks. Number 27. This is the starting lineup for Tottenham Hotspur. Hugo seven, Lloris begins this Hung game in goal. Hyung Min Son plays with Lucas on the flanks. Harry and the focal Kane. point in attack today, Harry Kane. And a look at the Chelsea starting 11. Kepa begins in goal. Marcos Alonso plays with Aspiliqueta in the wide defensive positions. N'Golo Conte starts alongside Jorginho in the centre of midfield. And leading the line today is Timo Werner. Thank you for attending Wembley Stadium. Enjoy the game.